Hey guys and welcome along to another video. Today's video is another GR4 race around Interlagos. It's only a short one because it's daily race B. Qualified in 6th. Could have been a bit quicker, only had a few laps to do qualifying which seems to always be the case now. I need to practice what I preach a little bit as I always tell everyone how important qualifying is and I neglect it myself. So I'm really going to make an effort to start doing that going forward. Quick shout out before we begin to Jay Nemesis, who said hello to me on the lobby. You always get a shout out if you're nice to me on the lobby, so hello to you, Jay. Nice and conservative through the centre S's into the first corner as always. Don't want to throw it away in the first couple of corners. Well, the guy in front gets a bit of a slide on there, see if it compromises him coming down the straight. As I come into this big braking zone as well, because the penalties are as savage as they are, at the time of making this video, I'm going to break a bit earlier. This guy has to take evasive action. So a little tip there: just don't follow people so closely to the corner. Give yourself the option of going up the inside or break a little bit earlier, or you'll do what he did and have to take evasive action. And his race, in such a short race, is now ruined. So the pack behind us has dropped off a little bit. The top four battling it out so we're closing right up on them now let's see if we get an opportunity or someone makes a mistake oh as the Brit in the Aston makes a mistake we'll have a bit of him up the inside and hopefully the guys in front keep battling to allow us to make up some more places we're going to make sure we hit our breaking point here to get a good exit out of the final turn because that Dodge Viper is rapid in a straight line easily get slipstream himself. The important thing here is to pick out your braking point. Know it and pick it out despite what's going on in front of you because I guarantee you the guy in third is going to be more looking at the guy in second than his braking point. So our braking point is 75 meters here. We're going to close right up on them. As expected, the guy in third didn't get as good a entry into the corner as he probably would have wanted. And up ahead, the guys in first and second are beginning to battle a little bit, which should help us, as they'll push them back into the third place guy and push all three of them back into us. Coming out of the braking zone, it's all getting a bit tight. The Viper touches the guy in second, the Italian, and round he goes. So it's another place gifted to us. We're gonna get a good run on him as well. We both actually put our rear left onto the turf there. I get away with it, he doesn't, round he goes. The theme continues of guys making mistakes in front of us and we're just picking up place after place just through consistent driving, which is so important. I may not be the quickest, but so far I've been the most consistent. So second place might be where we are unless the guy makes a mistake and as if by magic, the guy in first makes a mistake, runs wide, gets onto the grass, and we're into first. Now we've got one lap. Bearing in mind this guy is much quicker than us, or was at least in qualifying, to hold on. Do I have the bottle? I don't know, we'll find out. I'm gonna keep my mouth shut now. Just keep your eyes on the gap between myself and the guy in second. Let's see if I can put in a good enough lap with all the pressure that we're going to get to hold on for the win. As you saw at the start, it's going to be very, very close.
coming into the final corner now. He's caught right up. He is two tenths behind us. He's going to get a better run out and be in our slipstream there. So I'm going to take the inside. If this guy's going to pass us, he's going to go the long way around. So I'm going to the inside, forcing him outside. He's still in our slipstream. It's going to be close and across the line. So 0.054 seconds we beat him by. Oh, that was quite tough. But really, really glad I held on for that one. Just shows that consistency, guys, when you don't have to be the quickest, look how much he caught up on me on that final lap. And it was just enough to take that victory. Wonderful. So victory number 10, really, really happy with that, as I say, such a close race, the closest finish that I've ever had in Gran Turismo Sport. Some more politeness points there for Jay Nemesis, saying well done, thank you very much. That's why you get a shout out. So on that note, guys, I'm going to end the video. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm going to leave the replay in here now though for you guys to watch if you're interested because although I don't normally do this it actually makes for some pretty good watching. So enjoy guys and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.